Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. Today is the second week of the Hashtag Mobile Crafts Open Collaboration sponsored by Susan from Susan Hiles Art and Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. I hope you guys are playing along even if you're not posting videos. Um, today's, uh, today's prompt is books. Take books apart, make tags. Journal cards, belly bands, bookmarks, journal covers, pockets, whatever. So today we're focusing on books, taking books apart. And then other options down at the bottom here is always you can make envelopes, fabric tearing, glue booking, stamping on scraps, organizing, journal cover, whatever. It's endless. Um, this information is in both Sherry and Susan's description box. So I'll leave the links to their channels below. Watch their videos in the in their description box will also be a list of all the other people who are playing along. And sorry for this horrible lighting again. I can't help it. Um, I brought my ring light, but I don't have the connector I need to plug it in. So there you go. All right, so I'm just going to put that aside. So the book I'm taking apart here, this is one of the old Reader's Digest condensed books. And I... Every time I get these, I get them and take the covers off because I use the covers for making uh, junk journals and December dailies. But it always leaves me with tons of these uh, book pages in between. And sometimes I'll glue on them, and when they get all gluey, I'll just tear it off. Sometimes I will take out some of the pictures if they're good. Sometimes the pictures aren't so good, but I'll usually rifle through and find a few little pictures that I can use in my junk journals or something. But I just wanted to show you, no matter what kind of book you have, um, how you can use text, you know, or what I was doing just using text. So I had t t torn some sheets out of here, and what I did was I brought along my stamps and a little stamp pad. Um, these are the stamps that I brought here, this Bow Bunny one here, and I'm focusing on the tag shape things. And then um, this one here, I can't tell you who made this one. I've had it for so long. Um, I did use this tag here and this one here. And then there's this one by Fiskars, and I used this big one here. I used this one here, two of these ovals and two of the circles. And I did not use that one. I was going to use it, but I did not. And the butterflies I was going to use, but I'm not going to. But this Bow Bunny one here, I am going to use. So. Let me show you what I did. I, it's just basically I stamped on the book pages and then cut the things out because I wanted to make some more little, um, not, not journaling spots, but so much as little, um, and not even focal points, just little things to add to spreads and collages and whatever. So you see I just took the... Oops, I just took the stamp and stamped on the book page and then I cut around uh, cut around the it, shapes. So I've even got these tiny little ones that I showed you here. These tiny little ones here. And then these were the ones from the same set that were a little bit bigger. I'm sorry, my hands are freezing. I was out getting kindling and my <laughs> hands are absolutely freezing like this one, that's the bigger size of the, the little ones that I showed you. So I have those, and then I've got these real tiny little ones. Um, and then I did the round ones. Now the round little ones here, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see, but they're actually little flowers around the border, tiny little flowers around the border. And all of these I just stamped in black. Um, and as some of them didn't turn out so well because the black ink that I have here is not that good. I need to get a good, black stamp and, and bring it up here. And then here's the oval one here with like little flowery dot things on the side. And then I have the circle, this circle one here, um, like that, okay? So, you know, you could actually just use these the way they are, you know, just put them in and, and whatever. But I, I thought I would take it a step further and I found, this is one of my favorite stamps. Uh, it's called Flower Garden, and it's got all small little flowers and leaves and things like that. So I thought I would go ahead and take it just a little bit further. I mean, you know how to stamp, so I'm not really showing you anything new, but I, I thought it would be fun to um, 
maybe do some some more stamping. So let this is my green inks here. Let's go ahead and pull out a green ink here and maybe do some of the little ferny things and stamp some of those. Now this this one right here, this one already does have a part of the the frame has this kind of uh viney thing on it so i'm not going to stamp that one um but i can certainly stamp any of these other ones so let me let me get something here um let's see here this is a nice fern here what did i do with my stamp block oh there it is oh okay so excuse my stamp block it's horrendous but it works so there we go so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to pick a color green i really like these chalk uh, colors and I'm not sure this one's called mellow moss this is a stamping up let's even see if this is going to show up because I've got black and white and I'm sorry I'm sure I'm sure this is shaking the camera I'm sorry I'm not sure if this is going to show up on the uh, over the text you know because it's it is kind of a mellow green but let's give it a try and see and if not then you know lesson learned that we probably need to pick a darker color Oh no, it did, it did. Okay, you see right here? Isn't that cute? Oh, I like that, I do like that. So let's go ahead, what I wanna do is let's do that one again, but let, let's just use, let me try stay in frame here. The top part here, and I think I can just do this. Use the top part and have it coming down this way. Maybe just a little bit. So if you're going to stamp like this where you're just stamping a little bit, remember to put something underneath because you're going to stamp there. So I have the fern going up this way or the leaves and then a little bit coming down that way. So this way you can add some dimension and um, you can add some fun to your little tags and what would I actually, I don't even know. I guess tags might be a little thing or labels. I would actually, yeah, they're probably actually more labels. So here's another little one. Here's a tiny little one. Let's pick a different color green. I'll pick a couple different ones because then, depending on what project I have, you know, all the greens aren't going to be, I'm not going to need all the same green. So if I have a couple, then I can pick, pick and choose which one I want to use for the particular project. Um, I am working on something super fun. This is more of a blue green here, very much more of a blue green. So it is a lot different from the other one. You see, I did the same thing. I went up and then down, but but with the different uh, flower. Let me, or late leaf. I think, let me try one of these oval ones. Let's see here. Let me see if I can pick even a different color. Um, this is called Sage Shadow. Let me get this darker one off here. Okay, this one is a stamping up spot, and it's called Sage Shadow. Oh, this one has never been opened. Okay. Ugh. Let's see if I can get that up. Okay, there we go. And let's see what this one looks like. Of course, you can put your, make your green, your leaves whatever color you want. They don't have to be green. You could use orange or red, of course, or brown this time of year. So I, this, for this shape, I'm just going to use that one. See right there? Okay. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. Let's stamp that off. All right. I mean, I know you know how to stamp, but I'm just going to, I'm just playing a little bit here. Let's get one of these tiny little flowers here and maybe use some other, different color. Let's put the green away. I was thinking maybe we could get some pink or red or orange or something. What do I have in here? These are the reds and oranges and stuff. Let's get one of these tiny little ones here. Oh, they're so little they're hard to pick up. Well, and plus the fact that my hands are freezing cold because not only was I picking up kindling um, for the fire, I, um, sorry, I'm looking what color I want to use. I was, I also watered the flower bed and my hands got wet from the rain barrel and that, ugh, when it's this freezing cold outside, that's not good. I'm just trying to see if, no, that should work. This is very, very light though. I'll give it a try. I'm not sure if it will work though on, the, on this, but we'll give it a try and see. 
So these are just fun little layering embellishments. And the thing is, you know, if you use book page like this, it's so thin. Yeah, I don't know if the camera is even going to pick it up. It just looks like a tiny pink spot in the middle. It's It doesn't even, I can't even not see that much of the detail. So I need to use a darker color for the uh, this paper here. But um, because it's book page and it's so thin, it's not going to add bulk to um, your things. Now this one is called Rose what is it called? Rosebud. Again, this is a light one. This is a chalk one. This might be too light. Um, but we'll give it a go and see. And then I just want to show you... Uh, yeah, this one's even lighter. I don't even know if the camera will show that one. Uh, that one, actually, I can stamp over that again. Alright, so let's go with something else. A little darker here. This one is called Rose Coral. And this is darker. Is this viable? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, well, I can see this one on the stamp, so we'll see. I'm just going right over that other pink. I might have to layer a third color on here. We'll see. Yeah, see, these pinks are very light. I think because they're mostly, like, they're chalk. It does say chalk. All right, so let's go with something else. Let's go with this color box, Orchid Pastel. Well, th this doesn't look so pastel to me. Let's see how, is this viable? Yep, yeah, okay see if this one does anything I'm gonna have yeah see this one's a little bit darker but really it's it's only it's such a fussy little um, stamp it's not showing much detail so let me get a different one it's very detailed when you look at this the paper thing here let me get a more um, let me try this one. It's a little bit bigger, and it's a little... The the detail is a little more open, and you know what? Even this one, I think, is too light. Let's go for it. We're going to go with the Scarlet. That sounds racy, but it's, it's a good color. Okay, so let's try this one. This is a little more open pattern, so I think you'd be able to see this one a little better. I'm sure the other one, yeah, this one you can see a little bit better. You can see the openness of the flower in there or the pattern. It's not really a flower. Let's you, let's do that on one of these other ones here. Or actually, this one's bigger. Let's go ahead and use a bigger one. Okay. I have I have got bigger flowers. Oh, here's a here's a very loopy one. This is a very open one, so this one should show really good. All right, let's try this one. Yeah. So see, even over text, you can see the you can see the patterns on these. So these are just fun little embellishments that you can make. I'm not going to do any more because you know how to stamp on paper, cut it out, and then stamp again. But um, it's certainly a fun thing to do with book page. And this is something you can definitely do like when you're... Well, I'm actually not at home when I'm filming this. When you see this, it might be different. But when, you're, when I'm filming this, I'm not at home. But... Um, all I had to bring, you know, was some stamps. And like I said, I had just, depending on how much you want to do, you know, I just grabbed a few of my stamps like this. I had my few little boxes. I mean, you can just bring one box and mix up your colors. This is just the way I keep my colors up here. So, you know, I just put them in this big thing. So really, you just need a little bit of ink pad, a book, that, that, and then maybe... Um, a pair of scissors, you know, and you can make uh, you can make a whole bunch of these cute little embellishments for your journals and stuff. So, guys, I just wanted to show you that. And one other thing, I just wanted to show. Yeah, I always say that. That's it, and then I go on and on. I want these tiny little ones. These ones are, are like specimen labels here. You can take a pen and write right over it, right over the. Um, script or the text so 
So I wrote figure one, well, fig one. So if I had like a butterfly or a flower or something like that, I could put that on there too. Or there are actually stamps that you can get that have like that kind of things, the figures and stuff. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you how you can use some book pages, especially since we take apart so many um, books when we harvest the covers, you know, that we're not wasting all of this. But, you know, I, I literally, I get like, 12 to 20 of these at a time and a lot of them I do take the spine off and it does have to go in the recycle because I just cannot use this many book pages but I do like to use them when I can and I think this is a fun little project uh, when you're on the go or watching TV or something like that. So I hope you enjoyed it guys. Don't forget to watch Sherry and Susan's channels in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up and like this video. And until the next one, I hope you all are truly blessed. Bye-bye.